Hi, I'm Benjamin John Power from Blank Mass and Fuck Buttons and I'm here today speaking to Peter. So I've been vegan now for, I'd say, a year, a year and a half and I'd been vegetarian for 10 years prior to that and um, it's something that I was very surprised that I didn't do a long time ago beforehand. It's always been at the back of my mind and it just took one little thing to actually uh, make me realise that you can become vegan and still live a very healthy lifestyle. Um, so that's exactly what I did and now I am not tired anymore and not in a bad mood all the time. Uh, just in a bad mood all the time. Not tired anymore. Until I became educated about what actually goes into the dairy trade, um, it, it wasn't something that had crossed my mind, but if I'd have known the implications of what I was actually eating prior to that, I probably would have become a vegan when I was a child because I've loved animals since I was very, very little and um, it's something that's always been very important to me. I actually have found that being vegan on tour is obviously more difficult in certain places but all you have to do is just plan a, that little bit extra before you go away and it actually has brightened up the touring experience for me. I've actually started to think about what I'm going to eat in every city and actually plan my day around a good meal whereas before I was more inclined to just eat you know, bread and hummus and whatever on, on the rider and actually that's vegan, isn't it? <laughs> it's very, very easy to fall into the trap of thinking that veganism is a hard thing to accomplish, but it's really not. I mean, all you have to do is just think for yourself for a second, even if it comes down to reading the ingredients on the back of a packet, you know. You know, it's not scary to cook for yourself as a vegan. I couldn't encourage it more. So for more advice on how you can help animals, go to peter.org.uk and never give SeaWorld your money.